Hey guys, it's Natalie, also known as Nitty Natty. I have found a real special treat for you here today on Valentine's Day. I was watching some YouTube videos of a couple like talking, um, doing like a little questionnaire together and it brought back the memory of when Kent and I did the Fiber Friends tag a couple years ago. And I don't save my videos. I just upload them to YouTube and then I delete them. So I thought there's no way I still have these videos anywhere because I originally started on IGTV and so that's where the Fiber Friends tag was posted. Some reason I actually saved those videos. So I went and gathered them up, them up, re-downloaded don't oh my gosh, re-downloaded them because I had them on Google Photos and compiled them together with a little bit of editing and have recreated them for you guys. So keep in mind, this is a video from August of 2018. That's when we recorded it. So some of this stuff is a little dated. Our habits are a little bit different. We're in a different house. Um, the video is vertical. So what you're going to see is basically like a square, which I know is not ideal, um, but that's just the way that it is. I can't change that because I recorded it for IGTV in a vertical format. Um, it's about 30 minutes of different questions where I'm asking Kent basically about fiber related things, which is really funny. Um, he is kind of camera shy, which is funny because being on camera editing film is part of his job. So um, I thought instead of trying to convince him to do another like interview with me, I would put this one up for you guys who haven't gotten to see it on YouTube. Let me note before you watch it, our spending habits were way different then. I had a serious oh my gosh moment when we talk about what I spend, spent monthly on yarn and I was flabbergasted, like absolutely blown away. So um, have fun watching this throwback to August of 2018 and I will catch you guys again at the end of the video. There we go. Hi, I'm Natalie, also known as Nitty Natty. And I'm Kent. And this is going to be a special segment. It's part of the Fiber Friends tag. So I'm going to be asking my husband Kent some questions about knitting, and I haven't prepared him at all. So we're going to see how he does. You ready? Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> all right. What's your favorite thing I've ever knit for you? Uh, probably the, uh, the Harry Potter uh, Christmas sweater oh, you yeah. made last year. Yeah. yeah. I made a Harry Potter Christmas sweater with uh, his initial on it, and I made matching ones for me and for our dog. But I haven't knit you very much yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. That will be a question later. All right. Do you have a favorite thing that I knit in general? Um, yeah, I'm not sure if it's knitting or crocheting, but I, I like those little scrubby thingies. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, it's a crochet thing. Um, I use a tool to make these... Uh, crochet discs that you can use to scrub your dishes and I give them away as gifts all the time. People really like them. That's a good answer. Okay. Does it annoy you when I knit in public? Not, you can be honest. Yeah, not, not normally. I mean, when you're doing it at church and stuff, it felt kind of weird. Yeah. But I mean... Why is that? I just feel like it's like, you should be paying attention and it's like distracting. To other people? Yeah. That I'm knitting? Yeah. Um, cause, you know, people always like pay attention. Mm -hmm. Like I was like when I'm on an airplane or like anywhere, I'm like, well, what are you doing? What is that? And it's always distracting. So gotcha. So it's not. Is it is it me being rude to knit, or because it makes draws attention away from like the service? I mean, I I think both in that sense. But I mean, that that's only places like that. I mean, you know, at even a restaurant or a bar, or a movie or anywhere else, I think it's fine. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, Kent's really nice because he lets me knit even at bars. But the whole knitting in public thing, being rude or not, is like super, like, it's like a divide in the knitting world. So, I don't know. All right. Uh, what's your favorite fiber festival we've attended? I, have you come to any fiber festivals with me? I went to one thing in Nashville one time. Oh, yeah. We went to SSK, a Super Summer Knit Together in Nashville in 2016. Sure. I think it was the year before we got married. Okay, yeah. yeah. That sounds right. Yep. What do you think about that? It was cool. It was cool to like see more <laughs> Nashville. I think I was more excited to see that part of the city than yeah. the, the yarn part, but it was it was fun. 
Well, I enjoyed it. I went back to SSK this year. I liked it. Um, does it bother you when I drag you to yarn stores? Not at all. I mean, I feel like that's kind of just a known thing when we're we're on trips now that mm -hmm. we'll map out yarn stores and try to see how many we can get to and yeah, while we're out of town. So I don't wouldn't even say that I would drag you to yarn stores. Sometimes you we're going to a new city and he will plan it out for us to go. Take note. Yeah. It's fun. Okay. Um What's the coolest thing you've learned from my addiction? Um, oh man, uh, probably just how like prevalent yarn and knitting actually is. Cause I'm not sure I ever really saw it outside of like maybe an occasional movie, but there really are like yarn stores everywhere. Like there aren't a ton in Dallas, but when you go other places, it's like, you know, like when you're in Portland, there's like 15 around us and there's so <laughs> many in Austin and San Antonio, which is That's crazy. True. Yeah, it's like you don't know about it until, once you learn about it, you see it everywhere. Yeah. That's true. Okay, have you ever wanted to learn to knit yourself? No. <laughs> I'm so okay with that. <laughs> you know enough, you know a lot about knitting. Yeah, you don't have to I, knit I like to too. know about it, but I don't think it's for me, so. Why not? Uh, it just doesn't, I don't know, it just doesn't interest me. That's okay. Yeah. Wow, you just offended a ton of people. It doesn't here. interest me to do myself. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. Um, does it bother you when I buy yarn? <laughs> no. So loaded. But no, no, it doesn't bother me at all. Um, it is kind of weird that you get like a package every single day. That's not true. It is. It's every day there's some kind of package. But especially like when we go places, um, I like I expect you to spend money on yarn. Mm-hmm kind of just worked into the budget yeah it's definitely it's probably my I don't know if it's my only like hobby but I mean it's the one that if I could only choose one to spend money on it would be knitting and crochet for sure okay what do you think about me doing the Instagram TV I think it's pretty cool I mean I do like video so much with my own job that it's um it's cool that you do stuff like that too. Yeah. So, yeah. Do you want to tell them what you do? I work for a sports media company, so I do a lot of like a video reporting and everything on on sports. So, it's funny because usually I'm the one who's like going along with him to record things and uh but I've actually learned a lot from you. I learned to put my phone on do not disturb before we started this. So, <laughs> I don't know. It's pretty cool. We almost have the same job, you could say. Almost. Um do you, oh, he's going to love this one. Do you know the difference between yarn weights? Yeah. Um, yeah, they, I mean, yeah, they're like different sizes. Do you know what the names of any of them are? Yeah, for sure. Um, <laughs> there's like a really small one called like cobweb or something. Yep. And there's lace. Yep. And there's, uh, like fingering, DK, worsted, chunky, bulky, mm -hmm. super chunky. Mm -hmm. Am I missing one? You got pretty much all of them. Okay. You want me to tell you what you're missing? Yeah. Sport. Okay. And Aaron. Aaron is bigger than worsted, but smaller than like chunky. Okay. It's A-R-A-N, Aaron. Okay. Yeah. That's his oh. best known knitting fact right there. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> um, oh, do you have a favorite yarn dyer? Favorite yarn dyer? Yeah. Do you know? Do you uh, know about that? Is Madeline Tosh a yarn dyer? Yes. I like, well, some of her stuff because it's always like bright colors. Mm -hmm. and, and yeah. Uh, do you know where Madeline Tosh is located? Uh, I know she used to have a shop in Fort Worth. I don't know if she's still there. I but... Actually, I think that they are. I think that they still dye the yarn in Fort Worth. So that's cool because it's local to us too. Um, do you know how much an average skein of yarn costs? Yeah, uh, I think if it's like hand dyed, you're gonna say like $32 a skein. Okay, that's pretty spot on. And then if it's like a normal one, obviously it gets cheaper and cheaper. What's like a normal one? Like mass produced, like, you know, if I went to um, like a craft store mm -hmm. and got yarn, it, gets, it can get pretty cheap. Yep. But yeah. That's very true. You're so smart. <laughs> um, if I were to ask you to buy me yarn, what would you do? Yeah, I've actually done this um, a lot. So basically, I'll, I'll go into a, 
uh, especially like when I'm on a, a trip right out of town somewhere um, and she's not there, I'll go to the, find the local yarn store and go there. And uh, I know you like fingering weight the most, mm -hmm. but I'll, I'll always ask if there's anything like local that's either like made there or died there. And almost always there's been something that's like, yeah, this, the lady who is right there died this one. I'm like, oh, awesome. Now I have to get all that. So, um, <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, he's really good about going places. And I think if you're a male and you walk into a yarn store, the women that work there will just come and help you. And they think it's really, really great that you're supporting uh, your spouse and what they love. Yeah, I've, I've had one not so great experience oh, at a okay. yarn store. Um, but I mean, it was just kind of just, they didn't really want to like help me, it seemed like. But that yeah. wasn't a big deal. Um, you kind of knew what you but, were looking for. But honestly, sometimes it almost feels like that like, I've gone places and then gone back with her, and they were, like, so much nice to it. was just me alone, I feel like. They, they were, like, gave me, like, free stuff, and they knew what I was doing, and mm -hmm. pointed out all sorts of stuff. Like, we have this in the back, and then when we went together, I kind of, like, that's it over there. Good luck. <laughs> oh, I hope that's not me. It might be me sometimes. Okay. Um, how many balls of yarn do you think I could smuggle in the house a month? I mean, I don't know. Uh, this is the yarn closet behind us here. Probably, probably a whole lot. Um, I guess I feel like it comes every day anyway. So, Oops. you probably do one a day. One skein of yarn? Yeah, I think That so. is so not true. That's what it feels like. <laughs> okay, I might feel like that. <laughs> okay, oh, uh, do you know what yarn bombing is? I have no idea what yarn bombing is. So it's where you like make a piece and you wrap it around things. Okay. Can I do that to the house? Like the whole house? <laughs> I, mean, I don't I, want to anyway. I've had some weird like how like party decorations and stuff. So I guess you wanted a well, yarn party true. you could. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I don't want a yarn bomb the house anyway. So that's okay. <laughs> okay. Would you say I'm obsessed, interested, or dabbling in fiber? Oh, like totally obsessed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can agree with you there. Um, okay, what is really going through your mind when you go to a local yarn store, a festival, or I get yarn in the mail? <laughs> uh, well, those are kind of three different things. Um, when you get yarn in the mail, it's always kind of just like, dude, I can't believe there's there's more. It just keeps coming. Oops. Um, like to the point where like, you know, there's a package and I get excited that it might be for me and it's never ever for me. Um, mm -hmm. At a yarn store, I get kind of excited because it is like seeing new stuff and seeing, you know, how it's different, different places. And I feel like a lot of um, local yarn stores will have like a local dyer that mm -hmm. really like take into account like the, uh, you know, um, like a colorway. That's what it's called, right? A colorway. A colorway, A colorway yeah. that'd be like local there. Yeah. Like, you know, if you're in California, like on the beach, it'd be like beach themed and the mountains, it'd be yeah. green. And then you know, like different sports teams and stuff they do. So I, I like that at local yarn stores. Yeah. And we haven't been to a lot of fiber festivals together. Yeah, just I really usually, one. I usually go with my friends because we have some good local ones in Dallas. Okay. If you, oh, if you could have me make you anything, what would it be? Oh, man. Um, you already made me a hat. Mm -hmm. That's all I really wanted was a hat. So I'm not really like, I don't really like to wear socks like ever and gloves already have a sweater I mean, maybe like another sweater yeah like a everyday sweater if that's possible not everyday sweater but like a sweater that's not harry potter yeah because the but. sweater that i made him is a the harry potter sweater with the initial so it's definitely themed what kind of sweater would you want like what color just like like a black or like gray sweater like somebody could you know like have a button up on and put the sweater on over and go okay out, so we'll yeah. have to talk about that i didn't know you wanted a sweater yeah well, surprise <laughs> Oops, now I'm committed. Okay, let's see. Um, how much, or how do fiber crafts help me? Uh, I mean, they, they make you happy, I think. That's the most important thing. It's mm -hmm. just something you you love to do, and I know that. I think everyone we know knows that. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I think it's, it's good that you have something you love to do. Yeah. Okay. How much money do you think I spend on yarn? It doesn't give a time frame. Oh, man. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't want to think about it. I don't even know. I mean, it's hard to say like on a weekly basis because it's not like a, a weekly thing, but I bet on a month it's 
three hundred dollars. That's fair. That's um, totally fair. It kind of evens out. Like if you do like a yarn crawler or something, you know, I kind of expect it to be more if we're out of town, we're going to yarn stores. Yes. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, kind of. I mean, I have so much yarn now that I'm kind of getting yarn when we go on trips because it's special stuff. Yeah, that's totally fair. Okay. Um, can you explain the difference between knitting and crochet? Yeah, for sure. Uh, knitting, it's uh, two sticks and mm -hmm. crochet is one. Um, but crochet, like really, it's like a hook and you pull it through the loops. Mm -hmm. And knitting, you kind of push the yarn through the loop, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. loops in both, for sure. Yeah. That's a good explanation. Yeah, because people always say, if I'm knitting, they're like, oh, my grandma crochets. It doesn't bother me. It's not offensive, but it's just, you would know the difference. And definitely know it's like two versus one. Right. That's a pretty obvious one. Um, how do you explain me being a knitter to other people? <laughs> um, I think I kind of just like say you like to knit. Kind of goes with the, the whole thing, like even old soul, like... 8.30 is bedtime, cookie and milk every night, <laughs> and then knitting. It's just uh, kind of goes with your whole your whole thing. My whole aura? Yeah. Just reads older? Yeah. That's kind of true. <laughs> um, what is one thing you wish I liked to do as much as I liked to knit? Oh, man. Oh. Um, that's... I don't know. Um... I mean, I want to say cook, but you cook a lot. You just don't like it. I wish you, I guess, maybe I wish you liked it more. So you yeah. would enjoy doing it and it wouldn't be so stressful. Me too. But at the same time, like, I wouldn't like it if you always cooked and I never got to. So maybe not quite as much as, as yeah. knitting. Kent's a really good cook, so I would like it if he always cooked. <laughs> no, I wish I liked cooking. That's true. Then it would be more enjoyable and not like, oh, this is taking away from my knitting time. <laughs> But that's like really selfish of me too, though, because not really. I, I benefit from your cooking more than than your knitting or anything else. It's so. a necessary part of life, I think. Okay, I love this one. If I were to die tomorrow, what would you do with all of my fiber stuff? Uh, you know, I'd probably fill your casket. Um, yeah. And then whatever is left over, I don't know. I'd probably keep a couple of them and like try to have something, a couple things like made. I'd have like oh, a Natalie blanket. That's a good idea. And the sweater that I want. And <laughs> that I'm apparently never going to get to before I die. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> that's a good idea. Yeah, my one, my one funeral request is that I get buried with some yarn and that knitting is part of it. Yeah, we'll make it work. We'll all, we'll all knit. <laughs> you don't have to knit while you're there, but I mean, wear what you're, wear something you've knitted. That I knitted you. Yeah? Yeah, I can do that. That would be pretty cool. Harry Potter sweater. <laughs> um, does it... Uh, oh, we already answered this one. Doesn't it, does it embarrass you when I knit in public? No. We kind of did that yeah, one. Yeah, no, never. Um, this one's a little different, though. Does it embarrass you when I knit at a family gathering? No, when it's... So I don't think there's a time that it's been inappropriate. Mm -hmm. Like, at my brother's graduation, I don't think you brought knitting, did you? The actual thing. Yeah, I did. Oh. Did I you know? Did you notice? Because I was watching. <sighs> no, I mean, but that's the thing. I feel like there's times that it just takes, like, your your attention. You know, like, you should give something your full attention. I know this really... Was the question embarrassing? Yeah, embarrassing. No, I don't think it's embarrassing. But, you know, there are times I think it's... um Not respectful, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. It's hard because it makes me pay better attention, but I can see where that can come off as rude. Like, this is not important enough for me to pay my... Like to be able to pay attention without something else. But it's so hard. <laughs> um, okay. What does your family say behind my back about me knitting and crocheting? Uh, -oh. uh I don't think I've ever really, really said anything. I know that they've called me to ask like what to get you for Christmas and stuff, but it's, or yes. your birthday, but it's never even like what to get her. It's like, how do I go to a yarn store and what do I say? Yeah. Like my brother called me and was very, uh, confused by it all um, but yeah we told him what store to go to and uh, he was able to go and get yarn so. yeah I have the best family the best mother-in-law they when I give them something knitted they um, really like it 
and I and I think that's true. Like yeah, I don't no, think yeah, they're yeah. just making it up. So absolutely, I'm super lucky. Um, what would you say that I knit the most of? Like a like a product that I knit. Uh, item, I guess. I mean. I need to know socks probably. Mm -hmm. I always feel like you always have one project that's socks. Yep. Do you know why I always have a sock project? People always want socks. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. They're just portable and easy to take places. Huh. I and mean, I try to make one pair every month. This this year, that's what I'm trying to do. One pair a month. I like to have knitting goals. Uh, let's see. Why do you think I knit? philosophical yeah I mean I think it's just really simple it just makes you happy it's like what you what you like to do mm -hmm. I mean, we all have our hobbies I have mine and I think it's the same reason that I like to do those and you like to knit so. what are your hobbies <laughs> uh, I don't know I mean I, sports I guess is kind of a, a hobby to play mm -hmm. or watch um, and then video games I probably do that too much but you yeah. know I feel like a kid sometimes that's okay because when he's doing his hobby I can do mine <laughs> And we can be together, which is pretty cool, like in yep. the same room and stuff, so. It is nice. It works out perfectly. So, where were we? How would you rate me on a crafting skill level? <clears throat> oh, man. Um, <laughs> uh, like a 1 to 10 scale? Yeah, sure. It doesn't give a scale. Okay, yeah. I mean, you're probably like an 8 or 9, I okay. think. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why you wouldn't be a 10. I feel like tens, like something really like, like the Usain Bolt of, of knitting. Yeah, people are always going to be better. Yeah, but so, I mean, I think you're you're really talented. And even like as much as I've been around um, knitting and stuff and, and other knitters, uh, I mean, I definitely see that you're you're good at what you do. So. Thank you. Yeah. Good answer. <laughs> no, <it's good. laughs> um, I keep losing where I am. We already answered that one. Oh, what do you think that we do at knit night? Oh man, um, I think you knit some, and <laughs> uh, you probably just like hang out and talk. I mean, it's probably not any different than uh, if me and some friends get together to to like watch watch a game or something. You know, like we'll we'll watch the game, but more often than not, it's uh, you know we're just talking about whatever. Here's what yeah. happened this week. Here's what's new can't believe you threw another interception stuff like that so. yep yep that's probably the most sacred night of of the week for me yeah right yeah um how many well I don't really have subscribers it says how many subscribers because this is not a YouTube uh, thing but how many people do you think watch my Instagram videos oh, I have no idea um, I actually watch them well, like, yeah, because it gives you views, like how many people viewed it. Uh, it's not a lot. <laughs> I, I don't even know how to guess. A couple hundred, maybe? Oh, no, no, no. Cool. It's like, I would probably say like 30 to 40 oh. per episode. My bad. No, I mean, I think that's pretty good. That's like 10% of your followers. Okay. I think that's a decent amount. Cool. Yeah, we'll see. I, I haven't been doing it for super long, just about a month and a half, so... Um, how many followers do you think I have on Instagram? Uh, 465. Wow, that might be super close. I think I'm at like 470, maybe. So that was super close. How did you know that? Because uh, you get happy when you like reach a milestone, you tell me. You know? I pay attention. I have a, I already have a giveaway for 500, so I'm really like, I want to give this yarn away. It's so awesome. <laughs> I just want to get to 500 to give it away. Um... Have you ever watched my Instagram TV? No, I've never even, I don't think, checked your, your I don't, Instagram, like, I never really use. Yeah, I mean, so I only follow knitting things on Instagram, so we don't even follow each other. Yeah, I mean, I haven't logged on to my Instagram account since, I think, before we started dating. Yeah. I'm I still, okay I still think it says something about me being single, so <laughs> it's, been, it's been a long time. <laughs> That's really funny. Um... What's your favorite podcast? Just any podcast? N uh, no, knitting. Oh. I guess you can give them their, your favorite podcast too. <laughs> uh, my favorite podcast period is a solid verbal. If you're a college football fan, definitely check it out. Yeah, it's uh, a good one. As far as uh, knitting goes, yeah. um, I, don't, I don't know. 
uh, is the Yarn Hoarder podcast. Yes. She always looks fun. Yes. So she looks happy and yeah. So I guess you, I. You know more. You know more podcasts than that though, because. Uh, yeah, d- definitely. She just like when I walk in and see you watching them or look and see what you're doing. I mean, it's always uh, she always looks the happiest. I feel like. Yeah. So. That's true. You know who another one that I like a lot. Grocery girls. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Um, what's your favorite fiber? Oh, man. Um, I, I don't even know how to answer that, to be honest. Um, I wanted to make, like, a food joke, but I don't even know what foods have fiber. So, um, oh. I, I don't know. Like, what, it, what's, what are or some Or a favorite examples? kind of yarn. What's your favorite kind of yarn? Uh, like, brightly colored yarn? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Does that count? I don't know. Uh, I mean, yeah, stuff that that sticks out. That's that's super, super bright. Yeah, sometimes when we're at a yarn store together, and um, I know there's a yarn that I want, but I don't know what color. I'll just let him pick because you'll pick colors that I wouldn't normally pick, and it gets me out of my comfort zone for sure. Um, I think I know the answer to this one now. If I knit you a sweater, would you wear it? Yeah, definitely. I mean, so I, I like the, the Christmas Harry Potter sweater a lot, um, but it's not an everyday kind of sweater. But mm-hmm. if I had like a, like a, yeah, a nice like sweater I could wear out. Like I used to wear a, like a Michael Kors sweater a lot. The striped one? Yeah. It's like the whole preppy kid thing. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, no, I would, I would totally rock a sweater. So. Awesome. We're going to get on that. Awesome. If you could dictate a monthly allowance for yarn and fiber related things what would it be um less <laughs> you know I don't know about that I mean I, I spend a lot of money doing stuff I like I mean I, I pay so much a month for my hobbies and and everything and especially when it comes to sports I mean we're spending how much in the month of September to go to to football games yep. you know um so yeah, I mean, I, I think it's fine where where you're at. Where we're at, which yeah. we said was probably what three hundred a month. Three hundred. I think that's yeah, even out over the year. Yeah. So. We don't have kids. We are responsible, I think, with our money, so that's mm-hmm. okay. Yeah. Um. Do I need to go on a fiber diet? <laughs> Not like. Yeah. No. Fiber um, that you eat. <laughs> uh. No, I don't think so. I mean, I, I think you. You do knit a lot, mm-hmm. but it's not like unhealthy or anything. Yeah. yeah. I would actually think that I would be more strict with myself than he would right now because um, I would like to get more things out and knit with them, but that requires time. <laughs> so that's a little difficult. Okay. This is the last one. Okay. Perfect. Okay. How much do you think my stash is worth? Oh man. Um, and we would definitely say that yarn depreciates. Oh, it does. Oh, well, that makes sense. So, like, <laughs> how, think... how much is worth now, or I... like when we bought it? Like, if I uh, added all that up. Either one. Well, I don't know. I bet you have. I mean, all together, we have a, a like everything, bags and needles and all yeah. that. I bet there's a few thousand dollars at least. Yeah. Um, I'm sure you've actually spent more than that, but a lot of it gets like knitted and used, and gone, right? Yeah. So, um, I mean, you sold it all now, so I have, I have no idea. But I mean, I I bet there's. Yeah. So I used to work at a yarn store called Bliss Yarns, and the beautiful thing about a system called QuickBooks is you can actually go back and look at how much money you've spent. Wow. Don't ever do that, ever. <laughs> I worked there for like eight or nine years on and off. It's hard. It's a lot of money, but it's a lot of years. And it's a, I think every skein of yarn has hours of entertainment value. That's fair. Yeah. And if you knit something out of it, then it, I think it appreciates in value. Is that the opposite of depreciating? Yeah. Sure, Does yeah. it get more valuable? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right, anything else you want to say? That's, that's all I have, yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching all the Fiber Friends tag. Maybe we'll have some time in the future when you can come back and 
chat with everybody. Yeah, that'd, that'd be fun. That'd be awesome, yeah. Thank you for doing this. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, man. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Wasn't that fun? I really loved rewatching and seeing our answers to everything, and I was thinking all along how our answers would change today. Um, so, no, I have yet to knit Kent an everyday sweater. I feel terrible about that. I need to go ask him, like, right now. Um, but let us know if you would like to see another video similar to that. I feel like we need to bring the Fiber Friends tag or a similar one back into the rotation because it is so much fun. I would love to sit down with my husband and do another um, questionnaire like that. So if you have any fun fiber-related questions, throw them in the comments. Um, like I said, Kent is kind of shy about being on camera, so if you really want him to come be on camera, maybe I can convince him. So not to put too much pressure on him, but I think it would help if he knew that you guys wanted to see more of him. So let me know down below. Also, if you have any great um, fingering weight, men's simple uh, sweater patterns, let me know that too. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend, whether you are um, someone who likes to celebrate Valentine's Day, we really just like to use it as an excuse to like stay home and have like an at-home date night. Um, or if you like to do anything extravagant or if you like to be with your friends, whatever you like to do, I hope you enjoy the weekend. We have a long one and I am very, very excited about it. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.